Hey guys, this is Minister with LifeMire.com. Um, making a video of I I reinstalled my auxiliary battery and add a few things, and people are asking for a more detailed um, video of how I did it. So I'm gonna show you how I started. I installed it under my my passenger um, seat, and what I had to do is I had to lift the seat so that it would fit. So I put these, I unbolted the seat from uh, the floor mount, and I add these nuts right here in between to lift it up a bit, and I was able to push the battery um, under it. So that's where I put it. If this doesn't work for you, I do have a swivel seat on here. That may be why I was able to do it. But wherever you install it, you can use the same kind of um, installation instructions I'm going to give you. And just instead of putting it here, just put it somewhere else. So what I did was right here, I started by, well, first I ordered a, a subwoofer install kit, which gives you a power wire. This is like eight ga gauge wire. And I, I put ring terminals on it, which it comes in the kit. And then you can um, hook it up right here to your auxiliary power under the hood. And that's how it's going to, this is going to be your power, your positive wire. And that's going to go through, down, through your doghouse. And I, right here in the doghouse, I, I drilled a hole. It's super easy to drill just for that to pop through. Don't mind this wire. This is for my subwoofer. That's the RCA wires and the remote wire for that. But then I ran it back behind here and then behind the paneling a bit and then under here. And then it hooks up with another, another ring terminal to, to the battery on the positive side. And then um, that's, and then also I installed down here a little turn block. So if I want to hook other stuff up, you hook one side's um, your ground, which is your negative, and one side's positive. And there's a few for each to hook other 12 volt devices up to. And then from there, I ran another positive wire with ring terminals on the end. I went under the carpet and then it comes up here. And this hooks up to my goes through a fuse oh and then also I, f I forgot to tell you one thing um so it actually comes from the front power and then it goes into your isolator and what your isolator does is when the car's running it'll be putting off 13 volts and it'll charge your battery and when the car's not running it'll shut it'll shut that connection between your two batteries so that way when you're draining your auxiliary battery, it's not drain, it doesn't, it can never drain your car battery. So you can always start your car. So it goes from the front under the hood, goes into your isolator. Then from the isolator, it goes into your positive of your battery. So, and then, and then it comes back here. And then I have it hooked up to a fuse to my amp and subwoofer, which I can try to show you. It's a dual. That's the um, that's the model. If you want to install one of these, it's just a simple little sub and amp in one for like eighty dollars from Walmart. Um, that's I want just a little thump back here, nothing fancy, just super inexpensive. Then also from here, there's this white wire. It's a positive and negative cable that goes all the way under the carpet to the corner over there, and it connects to that um cigarette lighter for charging things like usb things like that and then it also keeps going up and it, i bought this flip down monitor to watch movies on which the, it comes with a plate that i just um i use some self uh self um self drilling s screws to go into the roof to mount the plate and then there's little screws that screw into the plate here that mounts up and all it was was positive and negative from there you can add more audio and stuff but i didn't use any of that i'm i'm just hooking up usb and hdmi to it like a fire stick to play movies through so that's how i did that 
Um, and that was about $130 on eBay. Um, so yeah, that's how it's wired. I also have um, a ground for the, the for the subwoofer that I just connected to a piece of metal. You can ground it to anything solid metal and that worked. And then like I said before, I have the remote wire coming from the amp that hooks up to the stereo behind the stereo and that tells when your car's on so the, so the subwoofer turns on. And then also these are the RCA wires which give audio from your stereo to the subwoofer. I just figured I'd add this into this video because it was part of my install and so was the monitor. And if, if you want to install one of these batteries, I'm assuming you want to do some things like this. Um, um, and yeah, anything, just once you have your battery installed like that and it's charging, it's pretty simple to just install the isolator and the battery. Um, but once you have it all installed, you can just hook th different devices up to positive and negative. Positive is the red wire and black is your ground, which is the negative. I'll put all the links in the description below for the wiring cable kit for the auxiliary battery and the subwoofer the subwoofer I bought from Walmart the isolator that I also got online and then the LCD screen TV so give me a thumbs up guys and leave me a comment below if um, you have any issues or have any questions I can help uh, guide you along the way um, just let me know and uh, if this content helped you please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get 100 subscribers I'm only like 15 away and so it really benefit me because I'm trying to change my name and you can't do that to you have uh, 100 subscribers so that way you have um, just a short link to the YouTube channel um, do that and um, you can also visit us at lifemodder.com and contact me there by email or Instagram, life modder, life underscore modder. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video and I uh, hope it helped you and you guys have a good blessed day.